Hi there, you guys, and yes, as hockey fans arrive here to see the Kings game, they are seeing an increased police presence in and around LA Live and Crypto Arena. Meantime, we're being told that the detectives have been here throughout the day working with LA Live management and security to try to get as much security video of the suspect as possible. This is the first known homicide in this venue. After Tuesday night's first deadly shooting at LA Live, since it first opened some 16 years ago, the LAPD has increased their police presence in and around the venue. Authorities tell us robbery and homicide detectives have been working tirelessly to find the man who walked into Fixin's Soul Kitchen around 6 Tuesday evening and gunned down a man in his 40s who was dining by himself. Uh, a lone male parked his car in front of this, uh, a white mid-size SUV. Parked his car in front of this location, walked in, and literally uh, violently gunned down this individual that was inside this uh, this restaurant. We don't know the motive. We don't know the reason. We don't know if there's a connection somewhere. While police officially aren't saying there's a connection between the shooter and the victim, they are saying there's no threat to the public. We truly believe, and I just got an update from uh, our elite robbery homicide detectives, we truly believe there's no further risk of harm to the public at this point. Police tell us another woman who was also dining by herself was grazed by a stray bullet but is expected to be all right. We spoke to some people at the venue about the deadly shooting. And that's it? No, no altercation? The no, they just walked in and did it and left? Mm -hmm. That's a little upsetting. This lady tells us she just dined at Fixins today and says she spoke to the owner, former NBA player and Sacramento mayor Kevin Johnson. I didn't feel any difference as far as the mood or atmosphere or anything like that. It seems like a normal business. Uh, I got to speak with the owner. He didn't mention anything about uh, anybody being killed in there yesterday. Fixins released a statement saying in part, Fixin Soul Kitchen is shocked and saddened by the incident that occurred at our L.A. location. Our hearts go out to the victim's family and loved ones. And police tell us that the suspect was wearing a mask and used a handgun. And as for the victim, all they'll say at this point is that he was a black male in his 40s. For now, reporting live here at LA Live, Mary Beth McDade will send back to you guys in the studio.